Hello friends. Till now we have seen what is arithmetic series. Okay. And we have seen the sequence. Now we are going to learn the arithmetic progression or before that we will learn the progression. Now progression is nothing but the special kind of sequence. Now in progression there are generally three type of progressions are there. The first progression is arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression Geometric progression and harmonic progression. These three type of progressions are there amongst which we are going to learn only arithmetic progression. Just remember one thing in arithmetic progression the difference between any two consecutive terms is same and if it is not same we say they are not in AP that is this sequence or this series is not in arithmetic progression. So in case of arithmetic progression when some sequence is given they may ask you uh, justify if this sequence is in arithmetic progression or not. At that time what you have to do? You have to just find the difference between first and second, second and third, third and fourth. This difference must be same. So what is arithmetic progression? If the first term is known, the all terms can be found out by adding a fixed number to preceding term. That means if you have the first term, then the difference between any two consecutive term is same. So if your first term is denoted by A and the difference is denoted by D, so what will be your second term? That will be A plus D. What will be your third term? A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. In case of sequences, we have seen that uh, we have to analyze the sequence, we have to find out the formula for the Tn, that is the nth term, we have to find out the formula. But here in case of the arithmetic progression, since the difference is same between two consecutive terms, the formula is very easy. So the formula for, now let us see the terminology of arithmetic progression. In arithmetic progression, you have A which is first term. You have D that is difference. You have N number of term. You have Tn that is nth term and you have Sn that is sum of nth terms. This is the general nomenclature for your arithmetic progression. Now in arithmetic progression we have the formula for Tn that is A plus N minus 1 into D. This is the general formula for the nth term of arithmetic progression. Now the sums for the arithmetic progressions are very easy. Now let us see the first sum. Find the next three terms of the arithmetic progression whose first term is 11 and the common difference is 1.5. Very easy. They are already given. First term is 11 and common difference is 1.5. And we have to find the first three terms that is T1, T2 and T3. Extremely easy. How will you do? T1 will be equal to A that is equal to 11. T2 will be A plus D that is 11 plus 1.5 that is 12.5 and T3 will be A plus 2D that is 11 plus 1.5 into 2 that is 3. So we have 14. So my answer will be the first three terms of the given arithmetic progressions are 11, 12.5 and 14. 
you have to write this in a complete sentence okay one more solid example we'll see they were given one sequence okay the sequence is 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube 4 cube and so on and they have asked state whether the following sequence is in arithmetic progression or not in your mind it is fit that the difference between any two consecutive number is fixed so many times students make mistake they think that here the difference is one one two three four so they say that this is in arithmetic progression but mind well don't forget these are the cubes and not single numbers so we have to consider in this case that is my first term is one second term is eight third term is 27 in this case you need not uh, find out a third, fourth term at all why because the difference between first two is seven and difference between this is 19 so absolutely they are not in ap they are not in arithmetic progression because the difference between two consecutive numbers is not same these are the simple examples based on the arithmetic progression now we will uh, move to 1.2 in 1.2 the examples are very simple uh, they are just asked whether uh, state whether these are uh, these sequences are in arithmetic progression or not or we have to find uh, some first three terms four terms something like that so let us move to exercise 1.2 so friends we have learned this topic thoroughly we have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hearts some paper solutions everything we are going to solve for further solution of exercises and problem set please purchase our dvd you can buy our dvd online by visiting our websites the address for the websites or the place where you can buy your dvds are given just below this video in the description thank you very much